Hey Pippo, schau hey, mal. Matthäusinho, die Hola, Hola. Sag mal Hallo zur Kamera. <lacht> Anyways, hey, how's it going? So, we are in uh, Port. Yes, Segur de Calafel. Segur de Calafel. Gracias to the whole team here. Um, yeah, it, I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Today we thought the doggies, uh, before we move on, after yeah. a long time, mm -hmm. uh, the doggies uh, need a shower and they told yeah. us there's a shower place for doggies. Yeah, there's a pretty cool spot here that you can clean the stuff from your animals, from your pets, and you can give a shower on your dog. Exactly. So this is new to us. We usually don't do this, but maybe, why not, you know, yeah. try out new things. <coughs> exactly, Matteo. Okay? Uh <laughs> here we have the washing machine and here we have the dryer. The washing machine was 5 euros for that stuff. And this is pretty cool, you decided which language you want. Let's say English. And then you put money and he shows the credits. Look, I will put one euro. Change two credits, and now we will head dry. Head dry because it only was already washed. There is Matheusinho. Hey, hey. hola hola. I wanna sit you. Hola hola, masculito. There we go. And if you want shampoo, you can do shampoo. And you have softener, and you have rinse, and you have anti parasite. Hairy. I don't know how to read that. Open blue. Pretty cool. Good morning guys, we are here in front of Ronald's boat, a world sailor, and he's here on maintenance, like fixing a new boat. Here's Ronald. Hello Ronald. Hi. At least he says hi. He's a really shy guy in front of camera, but he's a really cool guy and he is very carpentry. Today we have a little project for us, live and give 4x4 and he's helping us out, or basically it looks like he's doing it. <laughs> so stay tuned. Now they are cutting the lead out of this wood. So precise awesome. is unbelievable. It's gonna be here to open. Oh wow. And put stuff in. Close and the dogs can lay on top. Nice. This <laughs> so is gonna be the top. And now Ronald explained me that I have to sand this down. Because here, if you zoom in, you have a little edge. Because we did it with a six saw. And now we're gonna sand it down and then we're gonna do the same process here with this machine over there and then it's yes. gonna look like this eventually and how is it going it's smooth i have to fix what he messed up <laughs> <laughs> So 
here we have a, a hinge. We got that one. And now we're gonna just make that, put that in here. That is gonna go up and down. I was so happy that Ronald has all the tools so I can cut this now. And in my opinion, straight cut. So now we cut it and it fits perfect, I think, but Ronald may think different. We see. <laughs> now we are ready on the second piece. This will be the lid that's open in the front. that one in here and Ronald has all the tools awesome Amazing. now we will receive tempers wow this is amazing you were fancy fancy Ronald said it's either perfect Pro or nothing this is amazing. Look at this. Wow. Whee! This is cool. <laughs> okay, we are assembling the pieces. You saw what we did. Now we're gonna assemble it. And project should be almost done. And we have to fix it in the truck so that it's not falling around. Woohoo! finally installed we just have to clean it a little but we are so happy look at this wow extra storage space inside you can even go back this is an old box you know that we have in there but check it out and what happens inside look at this we're gonna look for a push lock we couldn't find that today was a holiday uh, but it's gonna be a push lock here then this one we can open from the front. And this one is basically a barrier. The doggies will be right here behind. It's all a little not clean now. Isabella won't like this video. But anyways, and the, it's also a barrier. And when we drive, our doggies have more space. We're gonna maybe have some, some cushion like we have in the back here. There you go. We maybe have a cushion here. Ah, look at that. We have already a cushion. 
Perfect. It's then... awesome. In our old truck, we didn't have the opportunity to really work while driving. And in this one, we did, we ordered the truck with this extra table. Look at that. Ta -da! It's awesome. And here it goes. Our computer. Ta -da! Editing one. You will think after three hours driving, editing, how we will charge. And for that, we also have a solution. We have cable, 2.30, and in this nice and amazing box that Fabian did with Ronald, we have here, opening, we have our Jackery. Woohoo! Awesome! We turn it on, and we can plug. Should work. It should work. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's it. Here we have the Jackery. This is a Jackery Explorer 500. I can show you from above how nice and neat it fits. So this storage we use uh, to put that. And the awesome thing is Isabella can now charge the computer Yes. with 2.30. She has her own, or we have our own workstation yes. and while driving. If this battery should be empty, uh, this can be charged uh, with solar. We have two extra solar plates, but obviously while driving, it's not possible uh, to do that. But you can also put, uh, 24 volt plug which is right here yes, and you can yeah. connect that here mm -hmm. and here we have another 12 volt output mm -hmm. and fast really fast uh, USB chargers and the new versions have USB-C we have another one for 130 volt in the back that we use for 130 volt and USB have, but I think we have a link somewhere where if you guys are interested you can buy in this link and have a discount or something like Thanks. that what do you think this is our new workstation yeah. and plus yeah if you click that really in yeah. just being safe we created that thanks ronald again yeah. um the doggies can jump here and this is an extension for the doggies and when we drive we will maybe come up with another solution but this is where the doggies are laying so just for the record inside how we fixed it there was uh, mercedes screws we just took the mercedes screw out fixed this first wood second wood and now we fix this one underneath here is velcro this stuff good stuff so it's really fixed you can't lift like look you cannot lift it and it can't go back and forth and if we need to you know take it away it's just two screws one here and the other one on the other side and feels good handmade thank you ronald for all this work he doesn't want to be on video but i really we really appreciate it isabella me and the doggies see you when we see you thanks to ronald you saw this in this video already how we created a box for the dogs and for us in the front now we figured this is awesome and we love it you can put this in and out and easy reach access to your storage system but on top like you see the guitar here from isabella you can still store, but we don't know how to fix it. So we figured now we use those latches here and we got ourselves some pieces and we're just gonna put them right here and then we can tie something on top. That's how simple it is. Nice. Now I'm gonna drill the holes. We measured, of course. Let's hope we did correct. the Loctite that with vibrations the screws don't loose. get loose. Nice. And that's it. So we just tightened it 
and it's all good tight lock tight we can put in the boxes and then uh, we're gonna put a hook up there and you're gonna see the guitar just testing and you can put the hook. Nice. nice see you when we see it What do you think about storage extra storage how much storage do you need you know let us know in the comments check out our newsletter uh see our patreon uh youtube instagram follow our journey matteo isabella the dogs and me we are happy for any follower any subscription so see you when we see you and yeah thanks for being happy with us thank you for watching and see you when we see you